Bonjour mon amis! Welcome to this week's skincare of the week! This week we are looking at luxury skincare and we've got some goodies from Guerlain. So these are samples that I received from a lipstick that I ordered and I just thought it would be a great skincare of the week to see if luxury skincare is really worth it or if it's just all about the hype. So what we've got here is we've got a kind of like a toner in essence. It's called a fortifying lotion. And then we've got like an oil serum and the cream. So let's go ahead and get into it and I'll let you know what I think. I would say the most that I spend on one skincare product I usually spend on a serum is probably around $70, $80. So this cream right here retails for about $400. That's pretty pricey. So the first product that we are going to use in our skincare regimen is the Fortifying Lotion. So this is the Aveille Royal Fortifying Lotion with Royal Jelly. I will put the full size product right here for you guys. The Aveille Royal line is centered around honey. It's taken 10 years to create. It uses different honeys from around the world to create a really luxurious experience. They do have a nice scent to them. The brand describes the scent as a very fresh, airy, honeyed scent. And I totally agree with that. It does smell very fresh. It smells like if you were to walk by a bunch of blossoms on a crisp morning. So the website says to give it a good shake before use. And then add a few drops. You're supposed to warm it in your hands and then kind of pat on the face. So this fortifying lotion claims to help with the texture of the skin. It's all about correcting texture of the skin. It helps to instantly soften the skin and to smooth out fine lines and wrinkles. So the next product is the Aveille Royale Serum. Check out the full size product right here. This is a, a, oh, it's actually a youth watery oil. So it's like a serum and oil hybrid. The whole idea behind this product was for it to have the lightness of a lotion, the richness of a facial oil, and the power of a serum. This product works to visibly make the skin more radiant and fight signs of aging. It says that within eight hours, the skin is visibly renewed and it helps to restore and repair the skin nine times faster. So those are some big claims. If it does everything that it says it does, c'est très bien. And I am super excited to use it. Comes with a little dropper. So the website also said to warm this up in the hands and then press into the face. It's got that beautiful smell, very fresh, very floral definitely feels like an oil. Well, not heavy at all, not greasy. So this is the last product in our regimen. This, this is the Orchidée Arpirial Le Creme. The full size product will be right here for you guys. It is a very hydrating, rich cream, and it says it's not greasy at all. A very silky feel, so any skin type can use this. And the website on this said to just kind of massage your skin in upward motions because it is also supposed to help with anti-aging. So this cream is definitely very silky. It's instantly hydrating. It has really hydrated my skin. For reference, I'm pretty combination oily skin and it's not heavy at all. This is one of the few creams that I've used, especially by luxury brands. I don't know why luxury brands, I feel like a lot of the times tend to cater to really dry skin, but this is one that I truly feel any skin type can 
use. It's not heavy at all for my oily skin. I even feel like I might be able to use this during the day. It's not greasy. It really did leave my skin feeling very silky, very soft, very smooth, very plumped. So I'm really liking it. The smell is different than the Abbey Royal line. This one is also very florally, but if you don't like fragrance in your skincare, um, this fragrance might bother you a little bit. And I'm giving you my honest opinions. I review a lot of products, guys. I partner with Beauty Tap, and I get sent a lot of skincare products to review. I worked in the beauty industry for a long time, and I worked with brands like Estee Lauder and Lancome, which are skincare centered. First, I was extensively trained on the science behind skincare, what is good skincare, etc. And it's very hard to find skincare that within the first few applications you notice a difference. So with that being said, Guerlain had me shook, you guys. This morning, I could not stop looking at my complexion. I could not stop looking at my face, and I was like, what did I use last night? I could not remember what skincare I used. And I finally remembered. I was testing these products out for skincare of the week. And I can say to you that from the first application, my skin looked more radiant. There's no other way to explain it. If, I mean, your skin looks smooth, your skin looks clear, your skin looks radiant and glowy. So I really enjoy this skincare, guys. I think if you have the money, this is a great line to splurge on and really was a treat to use them. I loved the whole experience. I love the fragrance. They came in beautiful packaging. Um, it came in a beautiful Guerlain bag and I really enjoyed it. Sometimes I believe that luxury skincare is worth the extra money. I would love to know what is your favorite skincare line that you have tried, whether it's with samples or that you've actually purchased or that you want to try. I love to hear from you guys. This is a community of beauty, of love. So let's talk, let's engage. I want to hear what products you like. And I just want to say my final review, Guerlain, c'est magnifique. Mwah. Chef's kiss, I absolutely loved it. I would purchase it if I wanted to spend that much money. Again, I really feel like there are brands that are cheaper, that give you a great bang for your buck. So check them out in my reels. And thank you guys for watching. Merci beaucoup, mon amis. And I will see you next week. Bye.